So I want to talk about Plato's forms or Plato's theory of ideas. But before I do that, I think it's good to understand Plato's allegory of the cave, as I think it will help us understand what forms are in an easier way. So in the cave, there are three prisoners who have been trapped there since birth. The prisoners have been tied to rocks beneath them so they cannot see anything except the stone wall in front of them. They can't turn around or anything. Behind them, a fire burns, which is projecting shadows onto the stone wall. The prisoners believe the shadows are truth and the only reality until one day a prisoner breaks free, escapes the cave, and perceives the outside world for the very first time. The prisoner then looks at the sun, birds, trees, clouds, and realizes that the shadows in the cave were a false sense of reality. So this is completely unknown to the prisoner since he's been down there his entire life since birth. This world in which the prisoner discovers is analogous with Plato's forms. All of us perceive the material world through our senses, and we believe this to be the only true reality. But is this the true reality? This is the real question. Plato argues that this is not true reality, and that the material world is the world of appearances or examples. So just like the prisoners in the cave, we are merely perceiving shadows. Plato believed that there exists a greater reality beyond space and time, which he called the world of forms. Plato also believed that a form is the perfect, unchanging representation of an idea or an object. So although that could be pretty dense and abstract, let me try to give you an example to unpack that. Imagine that you and I see a guitar, and I know that it is a guitar, right? But you turn around and you see a different guitar, maybe a different color, a different size, yet we both understand them to be the same thing. We both have a broader idea of a guitar. And Plato believes that this is only possible because there exists a perfect form of a guitar. So there's countless of guitars in the world. But the form of guitarness is at its center or at its core. It is the essence of all of them. The guitars we see in the material world are merely representations or shadows. We could say the same sort of thing about chairs, glasses, tables, and so on. These would be considered the lower forms. So I want to briefly discuss the higher forms. The higher forms consist of beauty, courage, justice, goodness, happiness, truth, love, and so on. So most of us can recognize these concepts, but our ideas may drastically differ from one another. So, for example, one may look at a woman and find her beautiful, right? While another may find her totally unattractive. Or one may look at a painting and find it beautiful, but another may look at it and find it ugly. Although we both have the same concepts, we may perceive it differently. We perceive things differently, right? Plato argues that concepts like the above all have their own perfect forms that exist in the realm of forms outside of space and time. So in the world of forms, there exists the absolute version of beauty, courage, justice, truth, love, goodness, and so on. Here in the material world, anytime we see beauty, for example, this is merely a shadow. The real beauty exists elsewhere in the world of forms. So the higher forms represent bigger or more abstract ideas. That's a good way to think of it, just bigger ideas, more abstract ones as opposed to the lower concrete objects or forms, such as chairs, guitars, cups, tables, and so on. So Plato's theory is considered to be a solution to the problem of universals, which I will discuss at a later time in another video. But for now, what are your thoughts on Plato's forms? Feel free to comment below. Thanks.